Good morning, team. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Big Deno Plays Kingdom Death. Season 2, People of the Red Keep. Boom, boom. Lantern Year 15. Uh, 10 Lantern Years away from the finale, if we get that far. Um, this Lantern Year, we are going out on a hunt. Um, I've decided this is the year that we're going to chase down a level 3. Why not hunt a Sunstalker? It seems like a wise decision. Let's do it. We're going to take some. Uh, we're going to take some of our uh, gun survivors, but Missande is the main one. Um, she hasn't been used before, so she is rocking uh, <clears throat> uh, not a lot of weapons because she's got the Constellation Gambler, um, so she cannot carry two-handed gear. So she's fine on that Celestial Spear because that's not two-handed, which is good. Yep, everything's fine. Wonderful. Uh, so her, um, her, her rules we're going to have to figure out. <laughs> um, but let's just uh, make sure. Yep, so she's got three evasion because she doesn't have any armor or... Um, Accessory gear in her gear grid. So she's gaining three evasion uh, Perfect so uh, And she's got immortal so she can't spend survival but any damage she takes it just goes to brain damage So we've got to remember her um, Stuff she's also got legend caller, which we're going to use uh, somewhere this year uh, John same deal as before um, Daenerys Bit of a risk to take her but she's just gonna stay safe i think and uh try and use the circlet keep us all safe and she's got a motionless in case we get that event and finally gregor the ageless lucky superstar i really need a sword that has range to reach to <laughs> anyway let's depart um departing survivors gain one survival that are constellations on your john on your Missande. And we shall go on a hunt. The hunt. A level three. Here we go. Oof, I'm nervous. So just after overwhelming darkness, we're going to do the monster, the um, sky fishing. We'll do mineral gathering. We'll do herb gathering. We'll do sonorous rest. And we will also use um, Missandei's legend caller at one point. Um, <clears throat> excellent. And I have prepared something, an empty space, just in case. All right, um, let's do this. John will kick us off on the first random event. 11. I got very nervous for a second there. <laughs> very nervous. Monster droppings. The event revealer chooses to investigate or consume the droppings. John. You're an idiot if you would eat those monster droppings. Investigate them, pal. Gain one understanding. And roll an eight. You may skip the next space. Nice. So the next person will be Miss Ende. A crackling sunstorm. Why, why have I not got anyone with three courage on this event ever? Oh my god, double zero. The finale. All survivors are electrified with dread. They suffer two brain damage. Uh, one, two. Follow the sound. Yes. Each survivor gains one courage. Does any survivor have three understanding? Yes, we have four, four survivors with three understanding. Uh, arriving at a massive anvil, the survivors see a giant one-eyed knight. It's charcoal armor refueling the lantern light. The event revealer rolls 1d10, a 10.
Oh my god. The survivor with the highest courage gains the Thunder Maul. Well, unfortunately for us, the highest courage is Gregor. He doesn't have crystal skin, so he's now become a Thunder Maul wielder. Seems great. <laughs> uh, we're just going to give away the... I don't think we need the Monster Tooth Necklace. We'll try and keep the, the grease. So we'll give away his Monster Tooth Necklace. And we get the Thunder Maul. Well, it's no good in this... Well, that's not true. It is good to have the Thunder Maul because it's a um, beast of a weapon. Uh, but it's not great on him. Uh, Thunder Maul. I'm a bit disappointed with that. Maybe we will go get Crystal Skin. That's actually not that big a deal. On a perfect hit, the monster is knocked down and you suffer a severe arm, arm injury. All right. Uh, so that was the second person. So Daenerys does this next event. Daenerys. Zero one. Broken lanterns. We'll investigate. The event revealer gains one courage. She's awakened. She is awakened. And rolls an eight. Gain a broken lantern resource. Wonderful. And she will do her awaken roll. There is a broken lantern. Awake on the courage. And she gets a seven. Awaken. Daenerys. Something awakens inside you. One permanent strength. A random fighting art. She has vestments, so she will choose champion's right. And she already has the reincarnated surname. Good work. Good work. Gregor. Gregor Clegane. 80. Good, good. Good. Oh, wow. I don't want to love Lord Rock. <laughs> At all. Um, each survivor rolls 1d10. The lowest scoring survivor becomes a straggler. Alright. Uh, there's no... It's just rolls here because there's no thingy. So John, Missande, Daenerys... Gregor. Gregor is in love with a rock. <laughs> this rock can be lost or archived like other gear. Well, that's actually really bad. <laughs> really bad. But I have a, I have a card for it. <laughs> I got a level and rock card in the Jiggle Iron set. <laughs> you will never be a part. <laughs> Stupid Lovelorn Rock. Gregor. Well, he's lost his... Mm. I don't think he can give away the Thunder Maul as much as I would like to give it away. Something I got wrong last time. Um, I think, look, I'm, I'm just going to give away the Monster Grease because it feels like the thing that's most likely to get torched anyway. And watch me, I'll be fucking shocked if we don't. Man, I'm angry about Gregor now. He's got a Lovelorn Rock and a fucking Thunder Maul. Gregor, what are you doing, you idiot? Overwhelming darkness. Um, Alright, well, let's just start with... John. He gets a 10. He gains the leader fighting art. Uh, boo. <laughs> Missande. She gains the leader fighting art. That is really bad. I don't want that. <laughs> um, she can afford to give away champions right, I think. How many times have I rolled a 10 on these fucking leader rolls? Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, I think we'll get rid of Faded Blow. <laughs> Stop it. If I go three for three, four for four here, I'm going to be upset. 
Fucking nine. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, actually, he's the only one I would have taken it on. Uh, suffer one event damage to your arms. Great. Thank you. I loved every second of that experience. <sighs> All right. In we go. In we go. Okay, so we're now going to do mineral gathering. Okay, so the person who has a pickaxe is Daenerys. She gains a five. And a broken lantern. She suffers two damage to the boots. A second broken lantern. Exactly what we wanted. Boom. Um, great. Nothing else. Uh, herb gathering. Three dice for everyone. Come on. John. Uh, that is an 11. Everyone gets a survival from the herb gathering. 11 plus... Uh, 11 is 22. So we're at 32 at the moment. Plus... Uh, 16. It's 48. Plus... 15... 63. We come up short, but we get two fresh acanthus, a vermin, and everyone gets a survival. One, two. Uh, was it three survival? Yeah. Three. Two fresh acanthus and a vermin. The vermin resource we get is a crab spider. And the two fresh acanthus. Very good. All right, sky fishing for Avienda. Daenerys, I should say, not Avienda. That was my last campaign. All right, they roll a one again. Seven, that's a, that's a nine. A great accomplishment, gained the Jowls resource. And two survival. Jowls. If you, when you gain jowls, it bites off your nose. If you have no nose, you die. If you have jowls, hagfish, and bugfish, you are inspired. You may drop all three to gain a filleting table. Um, wow. Nine. If you're all 12, you that's crazy. You could die. Awesome. Back to the hunt. All right, Sonorous Rest. Don't think we need survival on anyone, so we'll just take three insanity. Um, John is going to gain two, one, two, three, uh, not two more insanity. Sande is going to gain one insanity. And Daenerys is going to gain one, two, three insanity from the blue. We can finally move on to this one. We've got one, two, three, four, one, two. So this is Missande doing this event here. Oh. Cuddling skeletons. Ooh. Yep, we'll definitely do the cradling skeletons. One understanding is irrelevant, so a six. Emotionless and three insanity. One, two, three. Of course, this is the hunt phase where we don't archive soluble gear. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, Daenerys. Uh, at this point, we'll use we'll do 53. Uh, because we can use Legend Caller from Missande. So, we are going to roll a dice... For the mask maker location. Uh, no, we'll shuffle them. Uh, 
Actually, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do this one on the next one, actually, because I want Gregor to get rid of his rock <laughs> <laughs> using this event. So, uh, yeah. So we'll just roll on this one because it's uh, Daenerys' turn. So Daenerys, 15. A man trap. Good. Daenerys has had a great time. She's really enjoying her time here in the world. A nine. One event damage to the legs. Great. So it's now Gregor's turn to do this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. And Gregor is going to do Mask Maker thanks to Missande. I will turn this bad boy on and you can see the masks. And the mask that we get is Antelope Mask. Great. Assuming we get it, that is. Uh, 1d10 to determine the price. That's a lantern 10. I have not stopped rolling 10s. Give your survivor a new name. Gregor. I'm going to call you The Mountain. He gains a survival. That's irrelevant. Oh, unfortunately, the Lovelorn Rock has been given away. <laughs> Unlucky rock. Last hunt event. Back to the start. It's John. Black to blue. Oh my god, we don't have to archive soluble gear. That's so annoying. Roll on the table. It's a four. If there is no survivor in the group with red, four or more red affinities, they lead everyone away. Roll a random hunt event. The Tomb of Excellence. Well, let's see if we can roll another 10. A 7. Each survivor gains one courage. Yeah, the mountain's going to gain nine courage. Okay, so Miss Sande achieved a wake. And the mountain achieved see the truth. So Missande, her awaken roll on the courage is a seven. So she becomes uh, plus one permanent strength, I believe, on an awake roll for a seven. One permanent strength, gain the reincarnated surname and a random fighting art. So the random fighting art she will take is because she has vestments, she will take uh, champion's right, tremendous, uh, and then the mountain. So he's going to suffer the blind, severe head injury, I believe, from seeing the truth. And then he's going to taste death. Uh, see the truth. Where is it? Come on, Dino. There it is. Having a shocker. See the truth. Fear and penny on nourishment and you will feast. Um, yep. So we have Graves and we don't have Cannibalize. So let's see what he rolls. He rolls a Lantern 10. Sour Death. Sour Death. Um, yeah, he can encourage himself even if he's deaf. If you do gain a Strength Token. It's the worst of those options. Uh, so, how did that put him for constellations? Oh, he can become a goblin. Great. <laughs> Great, I'd love that. <laughs> uh, 
Um, gain a strength token. That's a shame. I would have liked. Maybe I should use his reroll there, because literally it's only a nine or a ten, and if we get if we get bitter frenzy, I'd be happier with bitter frenzy than than sour death. I'm unlikely to be taking him out again on a hunt because of the Thundermall situation. I think we'll use his reroll. It's sweet battle. Weak spot. The hit location is the hands. And he has sweet battle. I prefer that. I prefer that. That was worthwhile, I think. All right. We made it. We made it to the showdown. With the Thunderball. <laughs> cool. Why not? All right. Whew. So, a level three, we have two legendary cards. Let's just turn these back on. Uh, when we reach the showdown, we gain two survival. That's irrelevant at this point because we already have max survival on everyone. Uh, we have six advance, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's all of them. Fine. Toughness 16. got a accuracy and a luck token as well as two speed and two damage wowza um, all right let's turn this off Okay, so this is a question. I'm not sure. So he's got a um, he's got an ability called monochrome. Someone explain to me what monochrome is, because honestly, I have no clue. Did I accidentally put monochrome in here? No, where did I put monochrome? In this, I think. There it is. So, all colors desaturate. Explain to me what that means. Because I don't understand. Does it mean... Does it mean that you don't get to count affinities? Or does it mean that affinities um, count for any color? Like, I don't understand it. Maybe it will become relevant later on. What I'm going to assume for the moment is that affinities count for everything. For it being any colour. But I don't, I don't actually have any understanding of what that means. So, anyway. Uh, at the start of the showdown, perform Shadows of Darkness. All survivors gain black blood. So, the Shadows of Darkness, we get Shades Galore. Shades galore. Great. So, 
Um, our Missande is going to be the target of basically everything that we can make her the target of. <laughs> we very much want her to be the target of everything, if we can. You can go here, one, two, three, four. All right, that's our setup. We are ready to go. The sand day is going to tank as much as she possibly can for us. We want to try and finish this off quickly. Uh, so Shadows of Darkness is done after Solar Flare. That's done. Minion action, like doing bleed one. Yep, perfect. And the movement four toughness is... 10, one life. Great. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, just had to reset a few things. Think about that. So shuffled there, that shuffled. Team set up. Everything's done. All right, let's commence. So the first monster AI card is a tentacle whip the furthest survivor in darkness or the closest survivor so we will choose uh, a miss sand day because of her five evasion so he's got plus one accuracy uh, so that four becomes a three but then it goes to an eight so miss sand day can't spend survival eight that's zero hits Outstanding. So she doesn't suffer those after reactions. That is the end. Uh, he does move to here and attack the target. Phew. Great. That goes face down on that. Okay, well. Uh, let's start with John. Uh, sorry, then these little guys. One, two, three, four. 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 Perfect. So John's going to go. He's going to dash to get into position. One, two, three, four to here. And he's going to shoot his uh, claw head arrow. He hits. He's not attacking from the light. All survivors in the light suffer brain damage and a failure. Well... He is rolling uh, with strength nine. So at the moment, he's looking for a seven. Ugh, yuck. But he does suffer a minus one evasion token. So everyone hits him a bit easier. Come on, John. Oh, it's a critical wound and John has a luck. Which means he can actually crit, which is unreal. Attacker gains plus one courage. Go, John. Go, you legend. Go, son. Um, perfect. All right. Doesn't get his bow proficiency point, though. At this point, he will use his act and his normal and a surge. Uh, let's see if he gets those two things back, by the way. A raw head, raw hide set. Jesus. <laughs> Give me some of these on the rolls to hit, please. So the claw head, uh, sorry, the, the bow. Uh, that's one hit because of the plus one accuracy from the evasion. So just the one hit and we get light bending. Awesome. So we're not attacking from the, sh the light. So that's perfect. So he is going to um, use faded blow on this one. Uh, probably should have done that on the arrowhead actually. Ah uh, well. Uh... Yeah, I almost certainly should have done that on the arrow. Three plus three is six. He's looking for a... Uh, looking for an eight. Oh, fuck. Jeepers. <laughs> One, two, and he gets his bow mastery. If he survives. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a crazy start. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um... So we'll do we'll do Daenerys. She's going to use the rawhide headband, and she's going to move 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seventeen. No, nah, she's only speed five. Rawhide headband. If attacking from the light, if attacking from the light. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, uh, Daenerys doesn't cast a shadow, so she can't she can't use her shadow things. Uh, but what she'll do now is, if she is um, within three spaces of the monster, she can roll a dice, and on a six plus, she can skewer him. No, nope, haven't hit that yet. Um, what's our best play here? So. If we use the mountain, he's not a not light. I suppose he could use the thunder maul. Hmm. Thunder maul strength ten plus his strength. Actually, he's strength eight. Yep, he'll swing with the he'll swing with the thunder maul. Hits on a six plus, down to a five plus, down to a four plus. Two hits, no perfect hits, outstanding. Uh, so we get this and this, and we know that both of these are minus five strength attacking from the light, but we're okay with that because he is strength eight, plus the Thunder Maul is 10 is 18, so that takes him down to 13. So he's looking for a three. This one, great. Great. All survivors in the light suffer four brain damage. One, two, three, four. Does he have faded blow? No. Uh, in the light, one, two, three, four. In the light, one, two, three, four. John's not in the light. Uh, so the other one. Excellent. That's a wound. We didn't crit. No faded blow, but he does a wound. Uh, he's then going to move to here. One, two, three, four. Uh, actually, he might surge with Sweet Battle. Yeah, he'll surge with Sweet Battle and swing the Thunder Maul again. Eight and a nine, two hits. He'll do that before he moves. Here. Light speed. He's in light already. So we can't wound that one. So this one, we can crit, because he has a, a, a luck, so, but a one's a failure, so he doesn't wound, then he'll move, one, two, three, four to here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and she'll, oh, she can't dash, is there any way to get, yep. And then the mountain will dash into position here. So she'll attack from the light. Missandei, from the darkness, sorry, Missandei. She'll use the Celestial Spear. That's a 7, which is a hit. And a 2, which is a not. It's the trap. All right. Well, the positives is she's a spear uh, specialist. And she's attacking with a spear. So on a 7 plus, cancel the trap. Cheers. Shuffle that bad boy and try again. This time we get a stupid card. Uh, that is rotated so the thing is in the light. Fantastic. All right, that's the end of our turn. Monster AI card. He gets Presence of the Sun. Intimidate all survivors. All right, each survivor rolls 1d10 and adds their courage. Let's start with John. He gets over seven plus, he stands. He gains one survival and suffers one damage to his head. Missande, she rolls a six, she falls. So she suffers uh, one, two, three, four, five, brain damage and is knocked down. Daenerys, 
She survives. She takes one damage to her head location. Gains a survival. Perfect. And finally, the mountain. Three plus his courage of nine. He is fine. He unfortunately has sieges, so he suffers one damage to his head. And then he's knocked down. And he gains a survival. Cool. And now the little doofuses go. One, two, three, four. He's going to attack her. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the one guy is going to attack uh, Miss Sande on the ground. He's speed two, hitting on a 10. No hits. All right. Uh, that's the end of... So I just had a phone call. So. <laughs> um, that's the end of the monster's turn, I believe. We've done all the little idiots. Yep. So she's going to stand up. Um, I'll start with Daenerys. She will have a look at the... Um, hit location deck using a survival. Awesome. She'll do that. She's now going to swing. No, she's not going to swing. Oh, yeah, she will. Uh, yeah, she will swing on the little idiot. Uh, using her Sky Harper. That's one hit. Two hits. First one. Uh, that's a wound. He's only tough as 10. So he dies. She will get a courage. Uh, and then she's going to move to here. And I'm going to go with Miss Sunday. She's going to move to here. And she's going to swing with her Celestial Spear. She is in the shade. We shall fight in the shade. Uh, so she is uh, effectively strength 14. So that's a wound. That cosmic tentacle. That's a wound. It's not a crit. Reflex. Turn the monster to face the attacker. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. Awesome. Oh dear, one, two, three. John should have moved to here, not here. Anyway, I've, I'm struggling to keep track of everything at the moment for some reason. A lot of things going on. John is in shadow. John's going to shoot. He's going to use a survival uh, to surge and use his movement from his axe. That's one hit. Uh, by a specialist. Two hits. He's not in the light. Uh, I think he needs eights on these, doesn't he? No, nines. Eights. No, he needs tens. So he's looking for crits. Uh, oh, I've got to work it out now. Nine. No. Uh, nines on a wound. This one, so if he wounds, it's on a 10. Cheers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he does have a luck, actually, so that's great. Gain a Sun Shark Fin. Where is the Sun Shark Fin? There. Cool. Um, awesome. So that does a wound. Don't know if I already did that. I don't think I did. Um, perfect. And then he could shoot again, but he's actually just going to use his movement to go to here. Gregor's going to go to here. He's going to swing with the regal edge. The mountain, I should say. The mountain. Uh, four is a hit because of the accuracy and the evasion buff. Oh, the trap. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Okay. All survivors are doomed. Uh, Gregor, 
he's going to suffer 5 damage to 3 hit locations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2. Severe injury roll for the mountain. A 3 on the arms. Gain two bleeding tokens, I believe. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, uh, John's okay, though. Place all cards in the solar track on the discard pile. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees that way. Great. Uh, John would have needed to have been here for that to work, so it's going to have to be John. Uh, body, one, two, three, four, five. Boots, one, two, three, four, five. Hands, perfect, and then Daenerys. Waste head waste, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And a waste roll, she's knocked down. The waste roll is a nine, which goes down to a seven. On her waist, a broken hip. Well, I definitely think she's, she's done. That's done. Well, I think that is the end of our turn. Let's hope it's a survivor in darkness. Violet bubble. When this comes into play, perform basic action. The basic action, furthest threat in darkness. Thank goodness it is Missande. Hitting on three plus goes to eight plus. Um, does John, yeah, John will use his frozen star, so the eight plus becomes 10. One hit does one, two damage. She suffers knockback 12, which means she archives that and is knocked down. Uh, so she suffers one from that damage and then she suffers one, two from that damage. She can't dodge. Fine. Uh, that violet bubble seems terrible. Uh, all right. This guy. This guy. So this one attacking Avienda. Daenerys, I should say. Fuck, I'm bad at that. Daenerys is evasion. Two. So, eight. One hit. Where does it hit her? Hits her in the body, she can take three damage to the body. Gains a bleeding token. Not great, but hopefully we can close it out before then. Uh, the mountain. Evasion four, two misses. Okay, time to be quick, quick smart about this. So, Daenerys, surge. One, two, three. So we'll get that one out of the way, and we'll get that one out of the way. Then she'll attack the shade that's next to her, using the sky harpoon. Hits once. Uh, two plus four plus five, that's enough. She kills that shade. She'll then move to here. Gregor, the mountain. He'll swing with the Regal Edge. Uh, an 8 is a hit. A, and a 2 is a hit because of the 1 accuracy plus the plus 1 from being a Swordmaster plus the Evasion token. So that's 2 hits. Boom and boom. 
this is okay for some reason we just lost uh audio there and video had to reset but uh, yeah this one we are discarding he's not in the light he has no soluble gear so perfect uh this one he is not attacking from the light so he uses the regal edge it's strength uh effectively 10. Uh, that is a crit and he can crit because uh, uh, Yeah, he doesn't have faded blow, but we'll just give him a wound there So that's a wound delightful uh, The mountain will surge and he will swing again with the regal edge That's two hits prismatic gills and light speed so he is now in the uh, light. And then we can wound this one. So another crit would be delightful. <laughs> uh, four, if we roll a two plus. Yep, so that's a wound. So unfortunately, everyone's going to suffer bash, no damage, and knock back 12. Uh, it's just these two bash knock back 12 bash knock down uh, She would have stood up but she's now knocked down that means everyone's knocked down great uh, Don't know if I did the wound I think I did that and it's an extra wound on here It's not great. Uh, we can't dash with uh, Anyone and it wouldn't matter if we could because John can't encourage people anyway. Um, Avienda could dash, I suppose. Does she have a broken Daenerys? Daenerys? No. Okay. That's going to be the end of our turn. Damn. Uh, everyone will stand up. Boiling darkness. All survivors in darkness. That is John and Missandei suffer three damage. Missandei, one, two, three. John uh, to his hands, he suffers one. John's knocked down. A seven on the arms, a broken arm. Suffer minus one permanent accuracy and minus one permanent strength. Oh dear. I think we can clear that, but that's terrible. Uh, gain a bleeding token, which counts as an evasion token. Uh, rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. Outstanding. Okay, well, because of that rotation, oh, now the shades go. One, two, three, four, three, four. Here. Uh, so this guy's going to again attack the mountain. Two and an eight. Is an eight a hit on the mountain? He's evasion. Two. So that one is a hit to the head. He suffers knockdown because of seizures and a bleeding token. All right. Uh, we could encourage him. We may do so. Uh, we may do so with Daenerys. Daenerys is the only one who can encourage him. Uh, I think we will. Now's the time to push, I think. So Daenerys is going to swing with the uh, spear. She's currently in darkness. That's a perfect hit doesn't do anything and it is accuracy two. Uh, yep that's a hit as well so this boiling tentacle uh, yep so we'll go hard out here so we'll do this one first just in case we gain frenzy so she's strength four the sky harpoon is strength five that's nine so she needs a seven come on savage it's a seven so that is a wound so she gains frenzy Uh, which gives her an extra strength for this next swing. So she needs a six to wound it. 
Five is not enough. Failure. The attacker is slapped by a tentacle. They suffer five damage. Knockback 12. Five damage to the head. This could be the end of Brave Daenerys. She has used her reroll. Nine goes down to seven. Man, crystal skin. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to use the dry decanthus on that. Yep. So she's knocked back 12 to here. Bang. We're going to do Missandei. She's going to swing. Uh, two hits with the Celestial Spear, I believe. Using Champion's Right. I don't think she's used Faded Blow yet. I don't think so. She definitely hasn't used Champion's Right. Uh, yeah, she's she's gonna. I don't think I don't think she's used it. So that's a wound, faded blow, two wounds. Hit again. Oh, assuming we've got two hit locations. I mean, that's a first strike. Perfect. She's not attacking from the light, so that one's good. And this one. That's a critical. She doesn't have a luck, so she can't crit, but it's a wound. I'm like 95% sure we haven't used Faded Blow on her. So that should be A-OK. -okay. Um, if we haven't, if we haven't used Faded Blow, I'll just use... Um, A fist and tooth attack from John. I'm like 90% sure we have, so there's a fist and tooth hit. Let's see if we can gain a random Sunstalker resource. Um, yeah, he needs to crit, so. Uh, that's a crit because he's using his fist and he's got plus one luck. Oh no, it doesn't crit. Damn, because he doesn't have the plus one luck. Reflex, he turns to face the attacker, rotate the sundial, perfect, that now puts Gregor in shadow. It, if it's the monster's turn, we'll go here, the mountain, he will spend a survival to surge uh, with the regal edge, that's two hits. He is in shadow, so he can do that. Just in case, four plus the sharp, that's a wound, so no... Nothing to be concerned about if I hadn't used Faded Blow. It's A-OK. -okay. Alright. Wow. That was a very, very, very stressful fight. <laughs> uh, I, I felt like I got like one or two things wrong then. Uh, like the John's placement in the first turn. With the, with the darkness and stuff. But yeah. This is the first time I've ever fought the Sunstalker. First time I fought a level 3. Just don't know. I guess like um, all the specifics. Just yeah, it takes repetition to get these things sometimes. So shadow tentacles, sun shark bone, small sun teeth, cycloid scales. How many do we get actually? Cycloid scales. Um. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basics, seven. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to check this sunspot thing, just in case this does something. The 3,000 year sunspot. When you craft with this, nominate a survivor and roll 1d10 on a 5 plus. They gain a terrible headache and die. Cool. Alright. So, um, managing departing survivors... We just get one hunt XP. 
the mountain, uh, he is ageless, so he can choose to not gain that. And he will choose to not gain that. Uh, and then everyone else is going to return from showdown and advance the year. John is a bowmaster, thank goodness. That was a terrible decision to send him out then. Didn't need to go for level three. He ignores cumbersome now, which is amazing. Um, we've got plague. I forgot about that. Uh, let's do this thing first. We get oh lights in the sky. Oh, thank you, thank you for being wonderful to me. Game, I like it. All right, let's do the plague. Ugh. Um, so I think we can heal that broken arm with the bed. Is that right? Do we have a bed? We don't have a bed. All right. Uh, let's do our plague roll. So we're going to choose four survivors with at least one hunt XP. So we're going to try and use rerolls here to save them. So Yara, uh, Yara rolls a three. So she is fine. She just needs treatment. Good. The next person will be Sandor. Is a 10. He makes a full recovery. Well done, Sandor. Samwell is not one hunt XP. Rickon is not one hunt XP. Osha. So Osha is going to use Rickon's reroll. So she needs treatment. We're just going to let her die. Um, and... Liza. Liza requires treatment. But we don't add plague to the timeline. So she's going to die. It's going to happen at the end of the showdown phase. That's fine. And Osha uh, is going to die. That's fine. And we'll spend a, uh, an endeavor to heal. Uh, Yara with treatment. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's add these resources to the settlements and see if we can endeavor and get ourselves a bed. All right, a 3,000 year sunspot. Huge sun teeth. Small sun teeth. Cycloid scales. Cycloid scales. Sun shark bone. Shadow tentacles. Small sun teeth. And a cycloid scales. Awesome. Uh, we've got bone mastery now, which is great. I was hoping that John would not get fucked up in that fight, but he did. So, um, oh, I also forgot we also got these a shun, sun shark fin. Uh, and all right. And then we got a vermin resource, we got a crab spider there, and we got strange resources, we got two fresh acanthus and a jowls and finally our basics. Broken lantern, broken lantern, monster organ, monster hide, question marks, monster bone, love juice, monster hide, monster organ. We'll spend an endeavor and one of each of those resources to do our innovate.
get settlement watch, shrine, pictograph, Korea. That's pretty good. Uh, settlement watch. Uh, I think we will go for shrine. Uh, bed lets you... No, bed doesn't let you cure broken arms. But someone I know does let you cure broken arms. And that is who we're going to be fighting this lantern year. So John, join us. Join us in the fight this lantern year, mate. We're going to do a nemesis encounter and a special showdown. So the manhunter is going to be first. And then we're going to send John and someone else in. And hopefully all of his broken injuries will be recovered and healed. Which is very kind. We have three endeavors. Uh, let's try and... Let's try and heal. Uh, well, let's try and give Daenerys arena so this we get we get to add plus two to this roll so this is actually the best time to do it thanks to lights in the sky so we'll spend a survival and uh, we'll spend an iron sorry an endeavor uh and let's see how we go uh, she doesn't have a scar does she if she does she dies no cool all right well we could get frozen star if we roll an eight this could be worth re-rolls actually That'll do fine. That will do absolutely fine. Ah, oh. Piss off, leader. Frozen star. Boom! She's become a constellation. She's become one permanent movement and the rooted to all. What does this do? Uh, if you're standing at the top of your act, reveal the top two AI cards and put them back in any order. Uh, okay, so she's gonna she's gonna go taste the sky or whatever it is. Um, look into the stars, faces in the sky. There you go. So at this point, she's got a choice. So she can gain consume sins or consume lies. It's actually broken jaw. Is that shattered jaw? Are they different? No, fine. Just just print. Um, awesome. So she is going to remove all permanent injuries and gain the Vestophobia disorder. Boom, boom. She gains Vestophobia. She will remove emotionless. She doesn't care about Vestophobia because she has crystal skin. Uh, so that's amazing. Um... I didn't expect her to come back from there, but she's now uh, really, really cool. Okay, so what does that do? Rooted to all, if you're standing at the start of your act. Okay, well, that's not great. But she's a constellation. One, two, three, four, five, six constellations. Nice. I like that. Uh, we're going to recover John's broken arm by sending him to the thing. So I think that means we've got some pretty, pretty uh, rock solid people now. Uh, she's used a legend caller ability. We definitely need to get rid of some shattered jaws. Uh, all right, any other things we want to do? Don't need to do plague. Yeah, we might just use shrine. Uh, we'll actually use this because someone's got a gaping chest wound. Uh, was that Drogo? No. Was it Tywin, maybe? Tywin got a gaping chest wound. Yep. Tywin will try and heal his gaping chest wound. 
Three goes to five, that's no good. He has to skip the next hunt. Uh, maybe he'll try it again. Clear, gaping, chest wound. Thank you. Not that he's in danger of being light on strength, but yeah. Wow, okay. Um, tremendous. Um, I am very, very pleased with our uh, little settlement, People of the Stars. I believe you only get to send the People of the Stars into the battle with the uh, final Dragon King. So, I wonder if you can send more than four. <laughs> I doubt that. But yeah, we've got plenty, so... What we might try and do now is uh, pick which four we're going to take and do what we can. All right, friends. Uh, hope you've enjoyed. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to craft. So I think we can craft that bow now. Filters, craftable. The one that I wanted to get for John. The ink blood bow. Yeah, awesome. So it requires... Oh, it requires three shadow tentacles. I'm pretty sure I've got three. Yep, boom, boom. Awesome. Um, cool. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim to make a a lantern set just in case. But we have the ink blood bow now. Which is what I wanted for John. That is a glorious bow. Range 7. Deadly. Cumbersome. That's no longer cumbersome. It's now range 9. And it's deadly too. Because John is a bow maestro. We may look to put him in lantern armor now. Because that could just be so cool. All right, team. Appreciate uh, everyone watching. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to the next Lantern year. We'll see you then. Big dinner.